Welcome to a new travel vlog. I'm here with Femme, who is eating. <laughs> we are in Florence, Italy, and I've got this beautiful building here behind me. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Did you say it's the... It says it's a basilica. A basilica. So some type of basilica. It's very pretty. <laughs> so Femme and I are just away because right now we both work remotely, or like, you know, have that option. And so we figured we'd come away on a little trip, right? Before Working you start. Working girls trip. Yep. We just decided to come away to Italy for a few days and we're in Florence. Today's Saturday and we're going to take a day trip to Siena, right? Yes. And yeah, just explore down there. So let's go. Yeah. We've made it to Siena. That was a pretty pleasant train ride, wasn't it, Fem? Beautiful sunflower. Yeah, fields and they're growing sunflowers. Yeah. Siena seems really nice so far. We're just basically wandering around and looking at all the buildings. What have we seen over there? Flowers. Lovely. Duomo here in um, in Siena and it's so interesting because it's got that stripy building can you see behind me out there I've never seen architecture like that it almost looks like it's wearing like a prison outfit or something And today, Femme and I are actually staying in Florence, which will be nice. We're going to explore the city today. We're just heading to breakfast and have stopped on this bridge because look at what is behind me. Fem just had an interesting observation about some statues. Do you want to share it with him? Well, see, a lot of the time they're naked, and I figured that maybe they're naked because it's too difficult to do the fabric. Yeah, clothing. I mean, it's difficult to make marble look like fabric, so surely it's easier to just make marble just make look like naked. a body. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you might be right. <laughs> We weren't allowed to go into the cathedral because we're dressed inappropriately and we can our shorts are too short. We just climbed up many steps, but it was worth it because now we get this beautiful view of the city. It's day three of our Italy trip, 
and today is Monday, which means that it is a regular working day for me. Um, <laughs> not so much for Femme because you're on like off week this week, aren't you? Vacation. Yeah. But we just spent the morning working for a few hours in a cafe. I did okay. a few hours of work at the Airbnb before then. Now though, breaking for lunch. We're heading to the Palazzo Vecchio. Is that how you say it? I feel like I'm saying it wrong all this time. I don't know time. if it's Vecchio. Or... Yeah. Someone Italian can correct me in the comments. <laughs> but we're booked to go on an Inferno tour, which is based on the Dan Brown book movie. Um, we wanted to do the Secret Passageway tour, but it was booked out. So they said this was the next best thing. So that's what's happening now. Which house? What's the house? I liked that it was mainly about the history of the palazzo and you know the many behind different rooms whatever than it was just about Dan Brown's book but yeah that was a cool twist to it and it was a good excuse to see the secret passageways and go in them and stuff just had lunch at a really cute little cafe called Cecilia where it was very fresh nice smoothies nice sandwiches now Femme's gonna explore a bit so I've left her behind I'm heading back to the Airbnb to get some good solid work done because like I said, it is a work day for me and yeah, it's fun being able to work remote because you can do little things like go and take a tour of a palazzo on your lunch break, but you're still going to get the work done at the end of the day. So yeah, I'm going to go back to the air conditioning and work because it is like 37 degrees right now. And for those of you who are American and don't understand Celsius, that's very hot. If I could take you up in boom, boom, bosh, boom, boom, tell me I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. It is our last full day in Florence. Are you sad, Pim? Oh, I'm not going to miss the heat, to be yeah, honest. It's very hot at the moment. It's the hottest it's been so far. We just spent the morning working at Dita Artigianale again because that seems to be the best cafe that we've found that doesn't mind you sitting there on your computer. And Wi Fi is pretty slow, but it was pretty good. It was a good place okay. to work. Yeah. So we had lunch there uh, and now we're off to get some gelato because I mean in this heat what else are you gonna do? Fem and I have just been packing up to leave this Airbnb we're in. I don't think I ever showed you this is the living room then we have a wee kitchen here and then a bedroom and a bathroom of course it's a nice little Italian place and then we've got a view over some rooftops down here. So yesterday after gelato I came back here to work and pretty much did not stop working until like midnight because that is the realities of remote work is that if you're going to travel and work at the same time work has to come first and you do still have to get the stuff done. So we didn't get to see like have another nice meal out uh, at a nice restaurant here or anything but because I worked so late last night, I'm having the morning off for myself, so we're gonna go and get some breakfast and do a bit of people watching, I think, before I have to fly out. 